to work on the front fender, I think I'm going to bring in a new image. In fact, I don't think I need both of these. So I'm going to right click here, join areas and move the mouse up to eliminate that window. And for this window, let's go see if we can find something that might work. This looks pretty good right here. I'll open this one. And here we've got a pretty good image of that fender. Now for this part of the car, I think I'm going to use another process. I'm going to actually extrude vertices to create the outline of this fender. And then I'll join those outlines together with polygons. So to begin, um, I think I better hide the hood and the trunk. Let's go ahead and hide those. And then I'll begin again with a polygon plane. I'll just press Shift A, Mesh Plane. And I'll switch back to Studio Lighting. And what I'm going to do is just begin with a single point. And I can tab into Edit Mode here, and then once again use the Merge tool to merge all of these points down to one in the center. So I'll just hit the M key and Merge at Center, and there we go. There is our one single point right there. What let's do is go to the Quad View again, Control-Alt-Q, and here's our point. And here it is here. So I'm just going to move it forward and then move it up some. I'm going to move it right to the bottom. I'm going to hit G and move it right to the bottom right around in here. I think this is the bumper and this right here is the fender right there. So I'm going to move this over to, I guess, line it up right with this part of the car, right, right down the center of that curved fender here. Let's see where we are here. Okay, that looks pretty good. The only thing I may do is bring this image down just a little bit. So I'm going to tab back into object mode, go into the reference collection, go to front, and in this object data properties here, maybe I'll move this down just a bit. Let's see if that works right there. I'll try that. All right, so now let's uh, go back to the scene collection, and I'll choose this plane once again, which is actually a point now, and we'll tab into edit mode. Okay, so here is that point right up here, and here it is here. So what I want to do is just begin extruding this up, and we can extrude by hitting E and then moving, etc., but we can also extrude by pressing Control and right-clicking the mouse. So with this selected, I can press Control and click, and then I'll just begin clicking the right mouse button as we move up. So I'm just holding the Control key down and clicking as we go here. So you can see it coming up here on the top of the fender, and then Control, right-click, Continue here in the uh, side view, and I'm just going to follow the line of the fender all the way down to about right here. All right, looks like I have a couple of them that are a little bit off here. I'll just bring them back. There we go. Maybe this one can come down a hair. So, yeah, you can go through and just adjust them as needed. And you may be wondering, how did you know how many points to put in that line of vertices? Well, I didn't. That was, <laughs> that's just a guess. We're going to be modifying it as we go. We may need to add edge loops, delete them, etc. So it's kind of a guess right now. So don't worry too much about that. Just get that general path in. And then we want to do one on the inside. So on this line right in here, right up in here. So what I'll do is I'll just take this point, press Shift D and X, and then I'll move it over to about right here. And we can begin again doing that same thing. But this time we're going to have it be a little bit closer in and a little bit lower here than the one we just did because it curves down into the car here. All right, so with that selected, I'll press Control and right click and go ahead and just try and put the same number of vertices down for this one as we did for the first one. And I'm going to kind of angle it up here. You can see how it kind of comes up. So this area here is a little bit more shallow than this area up front. 
So let's keep moving here. Actually, I need to move these a bit, I think. Why don't I move these over just a bit to try and follow the line of the drawing up here. And if I haven't mentioned it before, no drawing like this is going to be perfect. It's going to be exactly the way the car actually is. We're always going to need to be doing some adjusting somewhere even if we get all of our points exactly on the lines of the reference image. There's always going to be room for adjustment. All right, let's continue here in the uh, side view. Control, right click, keep going up here. And then I'll kind of follow these right down to about here. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, so if we tumble around, you can see we've got these two edges here. Now I need to come back and realign this. So let's, uh, in the top view, I'll just grab this and move it over a bit. I'm just moving them over in the X axis so they follow that line here from the top view. Let's do that. Here, and maybe this one right here. Let's try that. All right, so we've got those two. Let's do one more um, along this side here. So once again, I'll come down and I'll grab this point, Shift D and X and move it over a bit. And then maybe I'll also hit G and move it up just a bit like this. All right, now I'm gonna do this one a little bit lower than the one we just did. So it's gonna come along on the outside here. Maybe I'll move it in just a little bit like this. There we go. All right, here we go again. Control, right click, and let's try and put the same number of vertices as we did before, right along through here. And this one I'm gonna take back pretty much straight. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some adjusting here. That's fine, let's pull that up. I see one here I could pull up. And this one looks pretty good just straight along that side. Now there's some work that we're gonna to need to do here to adjust this, but for now we can go ahead and add some geometry to it. So if we come in here and maybe select these four points right here and hit the F key, now we create a face there. Then we could take these points here and watch this. Let me go back to Control-Alt-Q here. I'll go to that single view. And then all we have to do with two points selected and that row of vertices there is just hit the F key and it'll just build that geometry all the way, all the way back. And there we go. Now we can do that over here. I'll select this, 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 and this. Hit the F key and we can do that again. I'll just select two points here. Then we just hit F and take that all the way back like that. So that's just a nice process for getting the basic shape of a curved object like that. Now in the next video, we'll add points to the curve of the fender here over the tire and begin connecting those.